great to see the overground back. Just hopped on the train from Leytonstone High Road to Barking. I'm going to head down to Barking Riverside. Barking, of course, is a place of ancient settlement. There was a significant settlement here before the Romans came. It was Uphall Camp near the banks of the River Roding. And right now I'm walking across the remains of the, uh, the grounds of Barking Abbey, part of the grounds. Barking Abbey was one of the great abbeys of London, it owned land all over East London. Established in the 7th century, one of the great powerhouses of medieval London. At the centre of what Boris Johnson describes as an area of opportunity. Opportunity for whom, as a friend of mine said. So here's the ruins of Barking Abbey. Barking Abbey was founded in AD 66 by a monk called Erkenwald for his sister Ethelberger. Bloody Vikings came and destroyed it in AD 71. They were always wrecking stuff, those Vikings. I wonder what was wrong with them. It's interesting, it says it was the second richest abbey in the country with the states in Essex, Middlesex, London and Surrey. friend the River Roding, which appears in a number of my videos. I think this is called the Mill Pool, just here. It makes its way down to its confluence with the Thames, not far away. Do you know what, I think I might follow it because it's really hard to get out of Barking. Bloody easy to get in, getting out of it is another matter altogether. So maybe I'll just follow this as far as I can and then hug the Thames to get to Barking Riverside. See if that works. Well, we didn't get very far at all. The gate to the path leading alongside the river is locked and bolted. <laughs> Typical. Roding River Ide. No, I think he's meant to say Roding Riverside. And this looks like another of the new barking developments. They're going all along. But they're going all around Barking, all through and out the other side, all the way out through Dagenham. Ice House Quarter, I suppose at least you'd have to guess what it used to be. Alright, so there's some studios here, I guess artist studios. In this development, look, and this. Some of the older buildings that have been retained over here. The malt house. Yoga on the first floor. It's always one of the key indicators of gentrification in process. Gotta get a yoga studio room open. And that'll get them in. Listen to me. I sound like an old cynic sometimes, don't I? I hope you understand where I'm coming from. <laughs> of the changing face of London. Down here at Barking on the banks of the River Roding. So that's a creek which joins the River Roding here. I think one of my fascinations with rivers is that they really do link you through time. They're a physical link to times past, don't they? You know, you can imagine those Viking longboats coming up here to sack Barking Abbey. You can imagine the working barges coming up from the Thames.
Today really is one of those sort of aimless drifts, really. I've got so many walks noted down to do for these videos, and um, so often when I sit out, I just want to just drift, you know, unplanned excursion. Although I've got a map with me today, so it's not like when I walked out to, to London Gateway and I, <laughs> I didn't even have a map. At least I've brought an OS map with me today. I've not looked at it, but I've got it. So I guess that must be the A13, the trunk road to the sea. My friends Stuart and Rayner made a film about the A13, which I highly recommend watching. I think it's on YouTube. I think it's just called A13 Road Movie. fly tipping here on this industrial seat between the A13 and the river. Man, this is really vying for the 2017 Fly Tip of the Year award, this one. We've got some the classic combination, some discarded children's toys, a car seat over there, the inevitable household furniture, three-piece suite it looks like there. That looks like it's come from a bus for fuck's sake. Mattresses, no no points for mattresses. Every fly tip has a mattress. Barking, you've excelled yourself with your fly tipping. I know I didn't make an announcement or do an award ceremony for the 2016 Fly Tip of the Year Award. It was fairly clear who the winner was, wasn't it? It was that fly tip. On the way to Hobbs Cross, on the way to the Roman Road, it was just the other side of Thaden Boys, top of that field, do you remember? And it had been, the furniture had been arranged. I mean, it wasn't even a competition in 2016. So here we have a little creek that runs through this industrial estate and must rejoin the river roading. Not far from here. It's a little bit of beauty amongst uh, some stuff which takes a bit more imagination to be beautiful. Should we go fishing with the GoPro, see what we find in this little creek? Fairly polluted down here. It's very sad to see this little creek so choked with crap. I have to uh, send this to the London Waterkeeper. Some little baby ducks here amongst all this detritus and refuse. Discarded plastic bottles and polystyrene. Look. Nature always finds a way. Look okay, you could knit a jumper out of that. Oh, it's a real bit of classic old edge land here, beside this little creek. Stacks of pallets, rubble, fly tipping, bonfire on a building site. Oh, it's not even a building site, is it? It's a rubbish tip, I think. Abandoned shopping trolleys. I love it. Jesus, look at the colour of the water here. I dread to think what's in there. It's fucking green. It's like parsley sauce from a pie and mash shop. So it's just fly tipping all the way along here in this undergrowth. Some of it's been set alight. And here you have this beautiful little creek struggling to stay alive. So this is where I am, just coming up to Knightsbridge Road, back onto the A13 at Barking. And so I've got to go, I don't really know, I'll try and follow this little creek now. Hopefully, rejoin the river roading. What a fantastic bit of luck. I'm just taking a detour off the A13. And here is the house that Bobby Moore lived in, the great Bobby Moore. 
England World Cup winning captain, Bobby Moore. Footballing legend, one of the greats. Lived in this little modest house in Barking. Some great old industrial buildings here. You sort of see this architecture all around the fringes of London. Not just on, in the east, you see sort of this style of building around Wembley, Park Royal. East and West, Cash and Carry. You cannot beat a good bus depot. And here we have the uh, Go Ahead London Barking Garage. Really frustrating because the river is just the other side of these uh, these buildings here. You can look, look at all the seagulls circling over. The uh, must be a rubbish tip there. I think it's Jenkins Lane tip on the other side. But you can't get through. It's all gated off. So I know the river's just there. I can smell it. I can't get to it. That is a really great building. Look at that. At Al Gore Wharf. It's such a beautiful building. A funny thing that isn't an off license anymore. A lot of the a lot of the businesses and artists that have been forced out of uh, East London around Hackney Wick, particularly even later. This is where people have tended to come. You hear a lot of people have relocated out to Barking. You see, you've still got this big area of industrial fringe still. Creek mouth open space. Finally, access to the river. Here we go. That's the flood defence system you can see there on the left. It's very similar to the one nearly opposite actually, not far away on the other side of the Thames, at the mouth of the, uh, of the River Darren, the Darford Creek. And likewise here, where the uh, river roading meets the Thames, it's called the uh, Barking Creek. See those three magic words, Greater London Council. This is a beautiful relic from those times. Anyone know what this is? I'm tempted to say it's an orchid, but. It's beautiful, whatever it is. Confluence of the roading and the Thames, as I say in many, many videos, in pagan worship, the confluence of two rivers is a sacred spot. And given that Barking is a place of ancient settlement, ah, I wouldn't mind banking there a few votive offerings tossed into the river here. Now we just toss in plastic bottles. It's 
So I haven't realised that this is actually the location of the Princess Alice disaster out on the Thames here. And there was a, a village here, Creekmouth Village. This is the Princess Alice Memorial. Tragic event in 1878 when 700 people died. So back along River Road through the dusty industrial estate. It is so dusty and grubby through here. Thank God there's no wind. Otherwise it'd be like the Wild West. There you go. If you've ever wondered where skips end up, it's out here. Well, I have walked along some dirty, dusty roads in my time. I think this is the dirtiest, dustiest road I think I've ever walked along. And it leads right to <laughs> one of the landmark new developments in the London plan, <laughs> Barking Riverside, at the end of a dirty, dusty road. Let's hope that's not a metaphor. An ocean of shipping containers kind of place. You see it at the concluding scene of a, of a film, isn't it? With a chase across there and a shootout. So you've got the uh, electricity generators there. And right just behind it, the brand new development, the Barking Riverside development. A beautiful bit of sound writing, isn't it? So there it is. Looks like someone's moved in already to Barking Riverside. Too sure about their interior design though. So there's a new school there, Riverside Campus, which is obviously part of the new development. It is the raised earth waiting to be built upon. It's a huge expanse of land. Look at that. All ready to be built over. Looking east down the Thames towards Dagenham. Must be Crossness Point Sewage Treatment Works there, which is the end of the Southern Outfall Sewer. And uh, I went there with um, I went there twice, once with Nick Papadimitri for our radio show, and we didn't obviously go inside because it's a secure location. But then we got invited back, and we did go inside, and uh, we were given a tour of the old Victorian pumping works there which was magnificent. I recorded audio and I've never edited it so I must get around to doing that and uploading that at some point. So it's about half six, hour and a half to your sunset. Perfect time to come down to the river. I don't think I can actually go very far. I think all that those works over there I think will push me up in the Dagenham but this is majestic.
There's some great graffiti on this wall here that runs along the side of the river. Real District Line Bombers. I guess that's the name of the graffiti crew, right? Oh, nice work, fellas. This is really beautiful here. There's like a, a little stream running through and you've got this reed bed. It's really beautiful. Have to leave the river now, which is really sad. There's no way to go further east. Have to go up here towards Dagenham Dock. Such a beautiful evening though. So beautiful. I urge you to come out here before it all gets built over. I often seem to end my walks in places like this. <laughs> and here I am again, wandering through an industrial estate on the edge of London, where I love to be. I didn't really know what to expect from today. But it's been fantastic. A really dramatic landscape. And it was another glimpse into the future of London or one of the futures of London anyway. The mighty Barking Power Station. This is a great place to end the walk.